All right, so I'm going to be showing how to open up and disassemble these two uh, My Passport drives. All right, so these external drives are both dead, and we're going to pop them open and see if there's a SATA to USB adapter inside. Um, sometimes that could be what's wrong with them, and then that causes them to not read properly. All right, so we're going to need a very thin tool here. Let me go grab one, and I'll be back. All right, I'm back, so let's go ahead and go try to pop these things open so usually you just get the little thin tool on the side here and we're gonna have to find the clips a lot of times the clips end up breaking because they're not designed to be popped open and then put back together so we're just going to have to see all right this one's not seeming to want to pop out easily yeah most likely we're gonna end up having to break some clips here to get this out so oh, okay that one kind of came up Let's see, so there's a clip there in the middle, and then one there. Okay, those clips actually seem like they're okay. So let's see. Then one there. Okay, one more towards the center, right? Yep. Okay. And then one probably down here. All right, it looks like that's their design is side, middle, side, which makes sense. That one. And then the middle has a kind of bigger clip, and then this one. All right. And there we go, we got them all out without breaking any of the clips, so actually that worked out well. And we have the drive here, oh no, it looks like the connector might actually be part of the board. So we're gonna, if, if you notice, I'm kind of like twisting the case here to help get it out. And you can see it kind of comes up. They put little rubber feet at the corners that help hold it in. And sadly, this connector is part of the um, hard drive board. So I guess we're just going to go ahead and put it back in. Sadly, we can't repair this, um, or at least I can't repair it. There are data recovery places that can get the data. So if you're wondering, um, there are data recovery places that can possibly recover your data. Um, and you'll want to open this up because they'll want like the um model numbers and stuff so they have like more extended model numbers i don't know if they need the serial numbers but model numbers they also have some model information here so usually data recovery places they'll ask for that so they can see what kind of drive it is all right so when you put this back you do have to go at an angle make sure the usb port goes up, lines up with the hole and then while you're holding that push the rest down there we go and then to put this back together click it all back in and you're good to go. We'll do the same thing with this one just to make sure. I'm pretty sure it's the same. They're both my passport. Actually, there's something rolling around in that one. This one doesn't have that issue. So I'm pretty sure this one's completely dead. But anyways, another my passport. Let's go ahead and open this up. Same thing. Go to the corner and okay, you can see it's lifting. Like that. Go to the middle. Lift that. Go to the other corner. Lift that. Okay, we'll go to this one corner, middle, and then corner, come on, there we go, over here, corner, middle, and corner, come on, I guess we have to go slightly away from the corner, there we go, and then this corner, middle, and this corner, there we go, all right, again, we got that out, no clips broken, just something, they must have broke one clip on their own somehow, oh, I see, this back one, so I don't know if they were trying to pry it out or what, but yeah, this design looks to be pretty much the same. So again, you just kind of twist it like kind of like an ice cube tray like that. And then it helps loosen that up a bit. So you can go from the back, lift it up slightly and then slide it out. And there we go. So yeah, sadly, these aren't repairable. Um, Sometimes again like there's a separate adapter you can pull off and then you can use a SATA to USB adapter and then it works um, Because the adapter itself goes bad So in this case the drives themselves must be dead um, So that's pretty much it. I don't know how helpful this would be to you guys since this one doesn't have a replaceable SATA thing But uh, hopefully it helps somebody if it did please make sure to like comment subscribe Share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And it help, if it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. 
right? If you can't help out that way, it would help a lot. If you could watch a few of my other videos and then like and comment on those as well, because that's what the algorithm likes to see. Other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Let's drop this. Bye.